Hey everybody, Dr. Anthony Yoon, America's Holistic Plastic Surgeon here, and today on today's video blog, uh, vlog, I'm going to talk about how do you get rid of under eye puffiness. So in, some, in a future vlog, we're going to talk about how to do it non-invasively, temporarily. But if you're looking for a permanent solution to puffiness under your eyes, I'm going to show you how we do that and how we can do it without any visible scars. Cool, right? Okay, so why do you get puffy under your eyes? Well, so I've got this diagram, it's very simple, and let me show you why it happens and how we can treat it. So if you look at this picture here, uh, this is kind of from a side view or a profile view of a youthful eye. You have the eyeball in the middle. The eyeball is enclosed in a cone of bone, which we call the eye socket. Uh, as an uh, anatomist, we would call it the orbit. And inside the orbit is the eyeball, uh, the inner structures like muscles and nerves and blood vessels, and we have fat. So I have the fat here in the green color. Now the fat is held in place by a fibrous netting that we call the septum, and that's this right here. Uh, and on top of that, we have the fat of the cheek that helps to create a nice, smooth, filled out appearance uh, of a youthful eye. So what happens then as we get older, and sometimes genetics, when we uh, get puffiness under our eyes? Well, this is what happens, okay? And feel free to get in close here, Karen, so that they can see it. Um, but what happens in that situation is you have the fibrous netting that can stretch, okay? And on top of that, you can get fat that then starts to protrude. Well, in addition, the fat of the cheek that in this diagram was fuller starts to thin out because we know that our face loses volume as we get older. So what you get is you have this fat that's inside the eye socket protruding out and creating this bag or the puffiness that you see. So how do we treat it? Well, the easiest thing to do is we make an incision on the inside of the eyelid. So I'm gonna have you point the camera to me, let me show you here. So instead of making an incision out here, we go on the inside of the eyelid, and by doing that, then I can tease out that puffy fat. All right, so we make an incision on the inside of the eyelid, and tease the puffy fat out. It's actually in three separate compartments in the lower eyelid. There's one that's uh, in the middle that's close to your actual nose. There's one in the center and one out to the side. So surgically, we make an incision on the inside of the eyelid and remove that puffy fat. And then what you get is something more like this, where the fat has been reduced, uh, the septum is no longer bulging out, and you don't have that puffiness, that bag under the eye. Well, what's the difference though between this and this? You can see in a youthful eye, you have more volume over the cheek. In the operated on eye, as you get older and you remove the puffiness, it's a little bit thinner. So I always tell my patients, if we're gonna do a blepharoplasty, a lower blepharoplasty surgery like this, where we move the puffiness, you trade it for some very mild hollowing. Okay, now some doctors, we'll try to treat that hollowing by adding a little bit of filler in that area, okay? That filler can help to fill that area in and make that hollowness better. Honestly, most patients are fine without it and they're happy just to get rid of that puffiness. So this is a scarless, quote unquote, scarless blepharoplasty. This is how you can get rid of puffy fat um, without any visible scars. And I do this in most of my younger patients, uh, people who are in their 40s or younger, um, as well as most of the male patients where you don't want to have any visible scars in the eyelid, this is totally the way to do it. The surgery takes about an hour and 15 minutes. I typically do it under a general anesthetic, um, so the person's asleep the whole time. Recovery usually is super easy. Most patients don't take any pain pills for this. Um, I'd say about half the people don't even get any bruising from it because it's all on the inside and they heal very, very quickly. All right, well, I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope you found this uh, useful uh, and informative. There are other